Hey, welcome to Camping with Steve. Another episode here in beautiful British Columbia outside of Belmont, up a logging road in the middle of nowhere. Uh, going into our third night so far out here, myself, crazy neighbor. We are fortified behind our electric fence here. Won't touch it. I know it's off, but it's just want to be careful. Anyhow, uh, gonna find some firewood. We are going to uh, start a fire. Gonna sharpen the chainsaw, maybe. Uh, a lot of stuff to do. Anyhow. Let's start camping. Chainsaw is, as Crazy Neighbor puts it, uh, painfully dull. And uh, I said, well, I've got files. But that's pretty gross. Uh, some oil leaked out of there, some bar oil, I think. And uh, all the files are covered in oil. I don't want to get oily. So, just used, uh, used the saw to slowly cut some bigger pieces to cut down on the cutting. And uh, we saw some wildlife today too, just on the road out there. It's uh, it is uh, wild country out here. It's so wild, there's mosquitoes. So start fire. All right, yeah, mosquitoes, mosquitoes, mosquitoes. <laughs> They're everywhere. Uh, crazy neighbors always behind the camera, just doing some action to make me laugh, but. Uh, Anyway, we're gonna get the fire going before I'm eaten alive by mosquitoes. So, no more blowtorch, that's cheating. Yeah, that, that'll not be as fast as a blowtorch, but it should work. Now, whatever type of camping this is that I do, uh, you wouldn't really call it glamping. You wouldn't definitely wouldn't call it uh, bushcraft. But uh, this is the toilet, right? And uh, I've been coming to this spot, which I found uh, after a lot of searching a few years ago, and I haven't explored it thoroughly enough because this is what I found. Well, look at that. Like, fairly close to the campsite. Just needs a little bit of uh, pine salt. That'll be, that'll be just dandy. Spaghetti and meat spheres tonight. Uh, we're gonna be using Classico Bolognese, uh, if that's how you pronounce it. I've always been a little leery because it sounds like bologna, uh, but it's actually the most loaded with meat sauce in a can that I have found. No, they didn't pay me to say that. Uh, boiling water, boiling salted water. That's very crucial because uh, we may be camping, but we're not barbarians. So, boiling salted water. Throw in uh, enough of this to feed us probably for days, but uh, you know, throw some of it in. It's trickier than it looks. Holy moly, the camera's running out of batteries. I'll throw some of this in, switch the battery. That should feed us, I think. I'll be back with a new battery and finish this off. Ah, spaghetti is strained. Can't have a spaghetti without sauce, am I right? I've got some meatballs from a furniture store. Be cooked. Very, very handy things to bring when you're camping the way I do because you just throw them in. No, not the whole thing. This is probably two, two and a half pounds of meatballs, but throw a bunch of them in. But people will be pleased to know it's not a styrofoam plate, it's a paper plate. And this fork, believe it or not, 
made of cornstarch. I picked it up at the dollar store, biodegradable fork. And oh yeah, we've got, uh, oh yes, this is gonna be good. Very, very filling, very satiating. Time for sitting by the fire and having some basic camping spaghetti and meat spheres. The last part for the nighttime ritual before I coil up in my sleeping bag in the nice warm tent is I always like to be sure the electric fence is up and running. And I can uh, I can hear that gentle tick of the fence. I have a fence tester, but this thing tells me right on the uh, electric fence, it'll tell me that everything's kind of running as normal. So, looks good. Time to get into the tent in a sec and hunker down for the night. So, back in the tent now, ready to hunker down. And we found some good birch wood and split this up. That, that should burn a lot longer than the junk we've been using. Oh, probably beautiful wife. Give me a message. Uh, throw on a couple of these. It's, I have a powerful enough sleeping bag that I can actually get through the night without too much of a problem. But, uh, with this shut down almost all the way, it's gonna be a good night's sleep. And then up in the morning to cook some food and and do camping. Uh, see you guys in the morning. Yeah, just another beautiful day in the mountains. Thank you for uh, following my adventures here. And uh, if you do like the videos, uh, or if you hate them, uh, if you subscribe, that really helps me out. And if you don't like them, you could always just troll me. Good mountain morning, everybody. Gonna do breakfast. It's gonna be unhealthy. It's gonna be quick and uh, it's easy. So. I'm starting with uh, my favorite, beloved Pep and Ched. I don't know if you got this in the States uh, for any of those viewers, but essentially it's literally what it sounds like. Eggs in a box. And a little bit of rich creamery butter. And it's basically, yeah, it's an omelet and I throw one of these in it. Uh, the camping omelet with Pep and Cheds. <laughs> Up and shed. There you have it. The perfect pep and shed omelet. That is gonna be just what I need to get the day started. We are up a logging road. We are grabbing some extra firewood, uh, grabbing some water, and checking for wildlife. So one thing that we can't pass up when we drive past it is some nice uh, birch that's already bucked up for us so we're gonna grab that and look at that isn't this uh isn't this majestic we'll see how far we'll get down this logging road up ahead there's uh there's some snow it looks like and this goes way up into the mountain so i don't know how far we're gonna get but all this talk about bears and being bear proof i want to at least see one at a distance at a good distance so down the road we go just loaded in this birch here and if you see the markings on it that's uh evidence of the world's most dangerous animal man This is purely speculation because I'm not a botanist, but if anybody knows if these are wild strawberries, that's what they look like to me. So we've been down this road for literally a couple of minutes and it is absolutely beautiful up here. And then we come across this. Look at that, it's a cattle guard. 
Texas Gate. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of snow. We're gonna walk ahead and check that out. See what's happening there. And I don't know why these gates are here, but maybe there's cows up there or something. Who knows? Yeah. Whatever's in this fence is trapped in this fence. Yeah. Moose. Moose or elk. You really don't have to walk too, too far up these hills until you get into nearly impassable snow. Certainly impassable in a in a suburban. So right here is where I exactly I would come if my cooler wasn't performing so fantastically. It is still frozen, frozen, frozen. Four days in. But if I need to fill it up, plenty of snow here. Don't do that after a couple of beers. No place to turn around. Got to back up. through here a couple of days ago and our tire tracks have big moose or elk tracks on them right over top of them so that's happened fairly recently we need water we're out of water and what better spot to get water that beautiful mountain creek We're on the bridge right now. We found a spot that looks like we can uh, get down there fairly easy. Fill up some buckets, get back, do dishes, wash up. Because uh, it's not that cold, but I'm wearing a, a toque because my hat, my hair is greasy. So <laughs> I'm going to wash up. It's been a couple of days out here, and that's, that's the goal. Getting some water. Everything could go tragically wrong here. I think we've got lots. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. I love it when people litter. Look at this. That's the third time. Alkaline spring water. Unbelievable. Yeah, we're picking all this stuff up because that's a surefire way. If people do this, they're going to start closing all these roads and trails if people trash them. And this is uh, it's my bread and butter to come out here and film this stuff. So we got some water. I think I'm gonna stick a gold pan into that river tomorrow. See if there's any gold in there. I've already researched it. In BC, where I am, there is a claim system for mineral rights. Now I got my BC mining license so I can stake a claim on anything that's not claimed for a reasonable fee. And it is not claimed because I looked it up the other day. So I know that uh, it's good to stick a pan in there and I'm not claim jumping, I won't get in any trouble. Back at camp, we've got the water. Thanks for watching on these videos. I'm gonna stop it here for today. 
and then we're gonna start fire up and start tomorrow's video so I'm trying to do one of these every day while I'm out here because it's so precious to actually be out here I normally don't get the chance to come out uh, it's very far from Edmonton Edmonton has not got a lot of opportunities for camping right around it so I'm out here in the mountains making the best of it and subscribe if you'd like to if you don't subscribe anyways uh, that that all helps me out so thanks for watching now you're camping with Steve